I fear for my life, but it's a detail. I love that sentence. I think a great action artist cannot be someone who's worried about themselves or their future. They'll never do anything if, if they are. Strab is a lifetime extreme action event where people fly and even beyond flying, they land. They crash to the ground with an enormous amount of impact. Okay, everyone, let's get started. So, hi, it's good to see everyone again. It's been about exactly a month since we were here last time and talked about the Streb project and what we're going to do. And so today we're going to be sharing some of those things that you've started working on. This was one of the enormously incredible dreams of a lifetime that happened here at the Leeds Center and in Lincoln, Nebraska. The powers that be here decided to assign Streb for the semester to all these different classes to the architecture department, to the dance department. Three, four. To the computer science department. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! And they all worked on concepts about the type of physicality Streb does. I'm gonna start in it. The dancers are just working with ways that you can be pedestrian and also use action and try to ignore the effects of gravity, i.e. be really brave. And they've been working with these things and so they have a few little snippets of ideas that they can show today. Yeah, but so one thing would be to, you know, do something more along the lines of, of you know, dragging something. And this could be either programmed or, or you know, having actually somebody flying. The, the second year architecture students um, are sort of approaching it from the idea of uh, an exhibition and as I started thinking about the space of the stage, perhaps even projections, um, if that's possible. And now as what you can see with these are obviously frightening spaces, but uh, you know, I think in the near future we're hoping to get dancer feedback um, because I know we're creating spaces that will kill people. <laughs> <laughs> the LEAD Center and the people that are gathered here at the University of Nebraska and Lincoln are seriously passionate, inquisitive, brilliant people wanting to know more about Strap, and that's that's kind of a magic, a magic accident, really. We came here to teach Nebraska students how to fly, and that's the basic principle of the Streb um, Extreme Action Company, is that we like to fly. In order to fly, we have to learn how to fall. So we took a little bit of time just to do the fundamentals with the students and teach them how to disperse the impact of a fall in their bodies to land safely. Yes. Your first pop will be one. Okay? Second pop, two. And so on all the way around. Let's do it all together. Dance is ready? Ready. And one, two, three. We got to work with a lot of their techniques in how to be safe while doing some of these more extreme activities that you wouldn't see normally around. Dive, hop. Flump, go. Very nice, you guys. It was a workshop with Streb, just kind of getting bits and pieces of their technique and impact. Lots of impact. I think it's just very exciting to watch people tackle something that's kind of uncomfortable at first um, and a little bit scary. And it just, it kind of revives the technique for us a little bit and it keeps it fresh. Hands, bear crawl. I really appreciate the fact that the Lead Center has given the students here at UNL this opportunity. Like 
like that's the thing that's the thing with extreme action it's like that person must jump off because or else they're going to get whipped into the wall that person must dodge the beam and their head was going to get chopped off what you see here today is essentially a showcase of second year student work their mission was to create um, a space of the stage for a streb performance that no one has ever seen before and uh, so it spins around on this track We've all created a series of drawings for the strep dancers that show possible sets and machines that could, they can maybe use. And um, we're showing them now, and it's kind of a really cool experience. Would these be freestanding or would they be fixed? I think, yeah, they could be freestanding or fixed. The, our worlds are interacting together. We're the people that are going to climb on those structures, strep ourselves to them, that are going to be diving off of those things. So we have questions that are practical questions. So what's underneath? Uh, I hope some mats. Probably, yeah, hopefully <laughs> mats so you guys don't kill yourself. They went through a series of iterations of drawings and models and other things and finally came down to a single image that will be displayed at the lead center um, before and after the performance. And so as part of that, they're really hoping to start to get some of that feedback um, that allows them to, to really consider others rather than simply just themselves and their ideas. The spinning ladders uh -huh. and a few and like swinging and stuff like that. Oh, so some swing? Yeah, like I have an actual model I built that like completely works and I photographed that for this. Oh, cool. It's been a really incredible experience working with dancers and, and kind of getting feedback and thinking about these things because this isn't something I'm used to as an architecture major. So it's really been an incredible experience and I really thank the lead for putting this on and helping us out with this. And, and I really, really lo have loved this experience and yeah, I think it's been great. I love robots. I just love the idea that they have such life and that the immediate drop and that you can get um, the exact altitude. I mean, it's hard for humans yeah. to hit that line. I don't know, I would just love to have these robots flying around. Like tomorrow night when you see the show, you, they could just be flying around the set with little cameras on them. <laughs> <laughs> or just go out into the audience. Mm. Actually, what we plan to do is actually light it up. So we have some some of this L wire, this light, lit up wire. So that's what we're going to try now. The phenomenal action heroes, action aficionados of Streb, um, which are at the heart of the machine here, these nine dancers, worked with these um, students, these artists, these scientists, and um, threw around, uh, I think, fundamental questions and inquiries, posed inquiries to them about what's possible to invent, um, first spatially, physically, temporally, and mechanically. So it's really beautiful to see what you guys are doing here, what the LEED Center has been doing by bringing us all together. It's really, really uh, a, a rare and um, beautiful thing. The surprising thing about meeting the people here is that they were serious about the collaboration. They were curious. They are passionate artists and thinkers. It's going to be hard to go to the next town after leaving the LEED Center.
Thank <laughs> you.